welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Salomarle and today we're building a single parent single mom single dad house this is a tiny house and I'm obsessed with it in my usual gameplay I always like not like always but like 90% of the time I just play as a single parent it's most of the times a single mom because like it takes like I don't know half an hour just to create a sim that like looks very cute and very nice and you know using all this like custom content all these lashes and everything whatever so I create her and I was like you know what she better have a baby and then I just go on the town just like find a random sim or just like approach the first sim that I can find just like give them a little makeover and then make a baby and then she's like you know what you're as single as a pringle and i'll just keep playing you you know most of the time if i have like twins and stuff i just invite the other parent over just to, you know have some other like help to support the two kids because it's if you're like a single parent it's like it's kind of like a hard to keep both of the kids away like you know healthy and just I don't know, so I keep their needs full and they're just like, so they're not taken away. Kind of like a real life, I don't know. <laughs> you wouldn't guess, this is a real life simulation game, so I don't know. So that's like basically what I do. So I just wanted to create like a tiny home just to get like all the benefits of a tiny home and to just create like a, this nice space with backyard, kind of like my dream. In, to be honest, um, in real life, I would like to have kind of like a tiny house, but not in terms of like, okay, this is a tiny house. I just like small spaces, if that makes sense. But just like to make it my own space, you know, put everything on the wall, put everything on the floor. It's like kind of like my, I don't know if it's like a gibberish to you right now, but like, you know what I mean? I would love to live in this house, but at the same time, I would love to have like another room. So this house has like a very tiny living space and a nice, a nice size bathroom. There's like a bath and shower combo, you know, and all the bedrooms are upstairs. There's two bedrooms, you know, it's like the mom's or dad's bedroom and the kid's bedroom, basically. So I would love to have one more bedroom if this was my real house. Plus, I would like a little like bigger living room space that would be great because i have lots of stuff in the living room there's also like no dining but at the same time i also put like a little dining chair outside i mean if you have a garden like that and if you have like a space outdoor space you probably wouldn't need an indoor space just as much you know if the weather is good you can just like sit outside and eat i think that would be very lovely would i would love a garden space to be honest i would love a garden space Anyway, just to give you a little heads up, because I'm like 90% of the time I forget about it. My EAID gallery name changed. It was used to be 666 your mom, 666. It's not anymore. I changed it to Salomarle. Just because, you know, I'm everywhere Salomarle. I'm like, I'm not on X, I'm not on Twitter, because that's kind of stupid, in my opinion. You took me on that platform, stupid. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> so i don't know guys so i just wanted to make like a uniform just like the same name every day so i just changed it to salomarle as well so if you want to download this from my gallery my eaid name is salomarle as like my normal youtube name and this house name single mom house i think let me check real quick it should be like that single mom tiny house the name is single mom tiny house I have lots of um, other buildings that I built in the Sims gallery. They're pretty nice. So I also built this like pretty early during the year and I posted very late. So if you want to be up to date, you can also follow me up there because you know, then you will have more access to other builds as well. So yeah, maybe you should do that. So we're currently furnishing the bedroom for the mom or like the parent, I guess. And I'm obsessed with like reds, like burgundy, like dark pinks and stuff. I like most of the time do bedrooms like that dark with like very red and stuff. <laughs> so it's like not a new thing for me. So I use lots of purples and like burgundy. It's like dark wood. I think that complement each other very well. So I also wanted to put the library there because there was no other space. And I think it's a nice entertainment for your sim. Just like because there's like no laptop or anything in here. So, you know. 
library books if you want to chill out after taking care of your toddler every all day it's like very nice it's just to get a book and clear your mind the kitchen space also turned out very nice i think there are lots of like pictures and like illustrations and drawings and everything around this house so i think that's very very pretty also i'm obsessed with that paranormal activity pack um, wallpaper that i use in the kids bedroom that thing is like my dream wallpaper basically so in currently in here i'm just using lots of debug stuff lots of flowers and stuff just to make everything very pretty and i really really like this like garden backyard front yard kind of situation i think it turned out very well and lastly i just put like this tree house situation when the kid just becomes like older they can just build the tree house together i think that's like very nice so here's some screenshots so thank you so much for watching i hope you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you next time bye bye